All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just wrapped up my live trading session this morning and I wanted to share with you another trade, uh, something that we've been looking at on the New Zealand dollar over the last week. New Zealand dollar hasn't really been a, a, a great pair for me in terms of return this year. Uh, having said that, it's been actually quite a high quality pair to trade. I've had four trades on it this year and three have been winners, one loser, uh, but just only four trades throughout an entire year. It hasn't provided the most opportunities, but it has provided high quality opportunities. And I'm going to share with you another high quality opportunity that we've been very patiently waiting for over the last couple of weeks, few weeks. So I'm going to share with you that. And then I'll touch on some updates from yesterday's trade that I took on the euro dollar flag, which I put on my last video, which you can go and watch. Uh, and also I'm going to update you on another little ascending channel breakout that I took on the pound dollar. So let's get stuck in. What you can see in front of you is the New Zealand dollar. And yesterday, just, just so you know, just kind of quickly here, uh, we were just looking at this breakout right here, but not trading the breakout. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade the breakout on this pair. What I was looking at it is more in line and more confluence to play in line with my prediction that we we're likely to push up higher and test a significant level of structure resistance. So I'll show you what that is now. If I just go out to the horizontal line tool and scroll out here on the higher time frame for the euro dollar, you're gonna see, if we look left, uh, the major levels of resistance level, if I just bring on this arrow, we got resistance here, we got resistance here, we got resistance here, and so on and so on, and there's multiple tests of this level. and. Each time it's tested, you can see it was previously support, then it became resistance. And each time it's tested, it's respected more often than it's not, which puts us on the high probability side, uh, puts us on the higher strike rate side uh, for in terms of looking at levels to trade off of, okay? So as you can see, what's really, really nice about this now is we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bullish candles in a row on the daily time frame. So essentially, we've closed higher than we've opened in each session, eight consecutive days, and obviously not over the weekend. So that's almost two weeks of, um, of trading, a week and a half of trading. Um, and we've had bullish days consecutively one after the other. So we know that that doesn't go on forever. So we know that it's, you know, it's likely to run out of steam sooner or later. We're likely to see a little rollover. We're likely to see some sell orders get triggered because people who were long will have sell orders up around this zone somewhere. And people who uh, are looking to get short will also be placing sell orders. So what we see is a, a, is a uh, you know, a, a batch of z lots and lots of sell orders dotted around a cluster of sell orders and when they all start to get triggered we start to see a quick rollover and that's where we can get the profit so looking at this got my crosshair on this particular zone and if I just draw out you know the zone based on my analysis here going from really the close of the highest high looking left and the high of the highest high looking left uh, we're looking at this zone here, okay? Now the next thing to do is to go down to your trading time frames and go, right, I'm predicting a rollover at this level, I need to be patient, I need to wait for a test of that level, and then I need to look at the setups that I'm able to trade that are gonna allow me to take advantage of this and catch it and catch the rollover. So how could I do that? Well, there's a number of ways you could look at tweezer tops, you could look at three bar reversal, uh, you could look at a, a doji candle or a high test candle wick, or you could look at a double top. So what I'm looking at here is a number of different things. I can actually trade those three different candle signals. I can trade a three bar reversal, or I can trade a double double top. So as long as a double top is valid, and if you haven't seen what I classify as a, a valid double top for my own playbook, you can go and check that out on uh, on my channel. I think I touch on it in the trend continuation strategy series, which is a really good series if you haven't watched that already. Um, so I'm just being a little bit patient. We're waiting for price to push into this zone now. And then what I'll be looking at is how price behaves. Now, hopefully we don't miss it because on the hourly, you can see we're already hovering around. If I just drop down to the 15, you've essentially got your double top there. Okay, we're just not 
quite at the level that I, I want to take the, the trade. I want a test of 69.14, which means I might not even get involved and I might miss the move. But guess what? If I miss the move, I'll be patting myself on the back uh, and then I'll be, uh, as my continuous development as a trader, trying to become more and more aggressive and refine my, uh, refine my entries, refine my target taking and stop loss positioning. Uh, that's a that's a never ending pursuit that's going to go on until I die. Uh, so may miss out, may may just roll over right now. However, we could still push up into that zone, and I'm definitely looking for tweezer tops. Uh, a doji, a three bar reversal, a high test candle wick or a double top on the 60, but we just have to be a bit patient. So that's what's on the radar. And the reason I want to share that with you is because I don't like hindsight stuff. I always put these trades out unless the only reason I'll show a trade that played out in my favor is if, if I think there's value to it and education to it and something you can learn from. Other than that, I just like to put out what I'm looking at so that you guys can follow along. It's up to you to go and check out what actually happened here. You could be watching this three months, a year in the, in the future. Uh, but at the time of this recording, this is live. This is the live market. And I'm not pretending that I know what's going to happen next. I'm saying that based on my expert uh, analysis, this is what's likely to happen if we get these certain signals met. And that's it. And that's what trading is all about. That's what having a trading edge is all about. Being able to consistently approach the markets that way and having the discipline to only pull the trigger if the rules are met. If they're not met, you stay out. So that's what I'm looking at on the New Zealand dollar. Follow along with this. Put your comments in below what you think is going to happen, what you, how you would enter this, um, you know, your trading style. And the other thing I want to share with you just before we head off is yesterday's move uh, on the euro. So it looks like we, let me go down to the 60 here, took the flag breakout. <laughs> It's really playing with us because we came within a few pips of the order. Um, we pushed back up. Uh, the flag pattern became resistance. We had levels of resistance there and we rolled over again. Uh, hopefully we can just continue down and take the targets out this time. We've, all, we've violated the lows just by a pip or so. Hopefully we can push down and hit targets on that. And the other one that I wanted to share with you was the pound dollar. Okay, this was an ascending channel, not at the best level of structure because the best level of structure and if I get stopped out of this trade I'll be looking to re-enter up here at 3385s uh, where we had this previous three bar reversal beautiful three bar reversal there with a high test candle wick right in the middle that would be another level that I look at but for now we still had a really nice bullish breakout so one two three four bullish candles in a row uh, we had a strong bullish momentum candle putting in that new high, and then we started to form this descend, uh, ascending channel. We've got some divergence on the RSI, um, and we entered on the next bar market here. Uh, we got in at 32.82 was where I got the feel on this particular account here. And following that, the next session opened, we spiked right up, almost got stopped out, but didn't. And funnily enough, this almost plays in our favor a little bit, because if we if we see the bulls come in and get rejected like this, there's more of a chance that we could roll over and hit targets and targets are just sitting down there at the beginning of the channel. So you can follow all these three along. There's nothing for me to hide. I'm not one of these traders that come on and show you my winning trades. This is real. This is what we do every day in the live room. If you're interested in that, the links are in the description. Until next time, take care and, uh, and I'll see you then.